What would you think if I told you that you could reprogram your brain and break bad habits, similar to how a computer programmer programs code? Sounds crazy, right? Yet, it's not. Just like programming computer code, you can actually reprogram habits that are deeply ingrained in your brain. Reprogramming your brain might sound pretty complicated, but it's absolutely something you can do at home. There is a concept called neuroplasticity. It means your brain can restructure or rewire itself when it recognizes the need for adaption. In other words, it can continue growing and changing throughout life. So how long does it take to reprogram your subconscious mind? On average, it takes about three to four weeks, but it could take longer. The answer will depend on how deeply ingrained the behavior is that you want to change, as well as your own beliefs that might be holding you back. For example, if brain trauma after a car accident affects your ability to speak, you haven't necessarily lost this ability permanently. Therapy and rehabilitation can help your brain relearn this ability by repairing old pathways or creating new ones. Communication pathologist and cognitive neuroscientist Caroline Leaf says that we absolutely have the ability to direct the plasticity process in our favor. Whether it's dealing with emotional trauma, anxiety, or simply expanding your knowledge base, we can restructure our brains and transfer that energy in a positive direction. When most people wake up in the morning, they often start thinking about their problems. Those problems are linked to certain memories and those memories are linked to certain people and things. Your brain is like an old tape recorder that plays back to you the same cassette over and over every day. If your brain is stuck in the past, then the moment you start your day, you are already thinking and living in the past. Each memory comes with emotions, which are the result of past experiences. So the moment you recall the memories of your problems, you might suddenly feel unhappy, sad, or in pain. Your thoughts and feelings shape who you are. In other words, it creates your character. When you start your day dwelling on the past, it means your past sooner or later will become your future. For example, if something made you angry yesterday and you wake up thinking about it today, you might feel angry again. If this repeats for two days, people might think you're having a bad day. If it continues for a week, they might think you're in a bad mood. If this pattern persists, anger can become a part of your character and you might be known as someone who is always angry. This shows that your thoughts influence your destiny. If you keep dwelling on the past, you'll keep creating the same life even if you don't like it. By the time we reach 35 years old, 95% of who we are consists of ingrained behaviors, emotional responses, unconscious habits, fixed attitudes, beliefs, and perceptions that function like a computer program. So then person can say with 5% of their conscious mind, I want to be healthy. I want to be happy. I want to be free. But the body is on a whole different program. So then how do you begin to make those changes? Well, you have to get beyond the analytical mind because what separates the conscious mind from the subconscious mind is the analytical mind. So most people then wait for crisis or trauma to make up their mind to change and my message is why wait? And that's where meditation comes in. Through meditation practice, people can learn to change and slow down their brain waves. And when they do that properly, they enter the operating system where they can begin to make some really important changes. And the toughest part is helping our bodies understand emotionally what the future will feel like before it happens. Your body is like your unconscious mind. So when you're completely focused on the present, your brain can't distinguish between what you imagine and what's real in the physical world. So then you begin to install the neurological hardware in your brain to look like the event has already occurred. Now your brain is no longer a record of the past. Now it's a map to the future. If you keep doing it and priming it that way, the hardware becomes a software program. And who knows, you just may start acting like a happy person.